those fans are running fast today. And that's why it is 97 degrees in this room. Hey everyone, so yeah, it is really hot in this room right now. 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, definitely need to work on the cooling capacity some, but everything is still running. Nothing's crashed yet. Although with the auto fan setting on Hive OS, it's got almost all the cars ramped up to 100% just so they don't overheat. And the main problem is, I didn't have a chance to address this when I installed everything yesterday, but up top here, you'll see there are two by tens blocking most of the airflow. There is a little bit of space between them, but it's nowhere near enough. So I need to work on that. So give me a few minutes or a few hours and see if I can get this opened up some and get this hot air out of here. Okay, so I've had definitely some success. After I turned off the camera, I did go up here and now it is nice and open into the warehouse over here and you can see the intake air because of the cobwebs coming on down. So this is intaking fresh air from the warehouse, which is only probably about 80 or 82 degrees right now. And over here, this is now my exhaust. This whole area right here is now open and all the air is going out. And you can probably see this little thing flapping, hopefully right there, There's a little piece of tape on a wire there. If you can't see it, sorry, but it's flapping outwards. And the reason why it's flapping out is because I stopped by Lowe's, sorry if it's loud, and picked up one of these floor fans, 20 inch, 6,100 cubic feet a minute if you put it on high. I have it on low right now, which I think is like 4,000 cubic feet a minute. I think I paid like $45 for this. And I just have it sitting on two boxes to raise it up and help blow out the hot air and at the same time since this is positive pressure out this becomes negative pressure and cooler air from the warehouse comes on in and the rig is definitely a lot quieter now most of the fans are not running at 100 percent and it's not as angry and the reason being is we've already dropped from like 97 or 98 degrees down to 91 and 92 degrees so We've definitely had an improvement. I'm gonna leave it on low for the weekend and see how good it works. And if this works out fairly well, the next thing I gotta do, besides talk over the fans, is get some sort of filter over this section that I opened up, just so you don't have a bunch of silt and dust coming on into this room. And I will have to cut this little panel right here just notch it so this way I can bring this drop ceiling piece and seal it back down and close this one up probably because it's not really doing anything because I didn't remove the boards over there. So silt and dust and everything can still get down. So this will hopefully fix my overheating issue that I had. And now I'm home probably about an hour and a half since I finished that video and already signed off. But I also wanted to show you on the screen here this is Xeon Phi. This is my Xeon Phi and my 7 Vega 56 or 64s. And if we go down to uh, stats real quick and we look at it once it loads up here, right here, the fans. You can see how the fans for the last 24 hours were pretty much pegged all the way at 100%. And here we can see everything just drop right off right here. It's beautiful. And it looks like it's stabilized. So I'm not sure what the temperature is there now. Hopefully it's like 90 degrees or 89, that'd be great. But it looks like everything is stabilized down to 70 or 80, except for this one card that's running a little warm at 87. It's definitely one heck of an improvement. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next video.